Does this look nice? Look, it's kind of awesome-y. Goopity. Oh, this, this feels very strange. Is anybody, if anybody's watching this and has tried to film a video in a different environment, it is so weird, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, I don't have my ring light, so sorry about that. You're gonna have to deal with a bit of a half and half lighting setup here, but I'm sure you'll survive anyway. Hello everybody, welcome back. It's another video with you one and only, and welcome to my abode, house, thing that I live in. Um, yeah, I moved out. Uh, I was originally in my parents in every single video that I've done. I hope you like it. This is the kind of setup I'm going for, even though you cannot see it anyway. So it didn't even matter, to be honest. Um, but I've got like some lights here, and then there's like a candle, because candles are always like... nice. I'm back, and I thought that I would kick it off with a video that I felt very excited to do. It kind of just popped up in my head randomly. It's currently about half past ten in the evening, and I wanted to do this video, so I thought, um, I'm gonna do this video. So here I am, doing a video. <laughs> so I'll give you a bit of a lowdown. So I'm basically living here now with my partner. My partner originally got the house. Um, we're renting at the moment. We are intending on buying some point when somebody in their 20s can afford it. Um, if ever, but um, yeah, we decided to start renting and then I officially moved in around about May, June time and uh, I knew I would officially moved in when I bought the guinea pigs, like that was my my thing where I was like, okay, this is happening. Basically, fast forward into October, we decided to view a puppy and originally I was, had I had no intention of getting this puppy at all. I was kind of like, I just want to go and see them. I wanted to see if I would have an allergic reaction from them. Because um, I have a bit of an allergic reaction from my little amigo, my guinea pig. And I wanted to make sure and I actually didn't. Um, so that was amazing. And then I just suddenly found myself putting down a massive deposit. And then it just kind of, yeah, it just happened really. We literally went shopping for this puppy. I haven't even properly announced it. We're getting a puppy. We're literally getting a puppy. Like, oh, oh my God. I, we're getting a dog. We're getting, <laughs> we're getting a dog. <laughs> and once we'd put the deposit down, we basically went straight to the pet shop and bought like a few things that we wanted. We were really excited about this. Um, but getting a dog is something that I've always wanted for me personally. My, my family's always had dogs. I've always grown up around dogs. So I've always loved them and then I just really wanted my own. It was around about in 2014, I'd say, when I started going to uni, um, I realised my love for Shiba Inus. And that was when the kind of like love sparked for that breed and then I just suddenly found myself just really, really wanting one of them. So I did a hell of a lot of research to begin with. Um, just in case anybody knows about sheaves, yes, I know the, what can come with them. Um, I know that they can be quite stubborn. I've known for a very long time that this was for me, so I've, I've made a very calculated decision. Um, this isn't something I've just decided in the moment, but I knew definitely that it was gonna be a sheave at some point. And when I saw these sheaves for sale from a company that was like registered at the council, it was very official, very, very professionally run. Um, and I went to go and view a puppy and I just, I fell in love with the little thing, to be honest. Uh, it was only four weeks when I went to visit it. And uh, when we put the deposit down, we just, we knew that was it. So we've been getting pop dates ever since. So every week uh, we've been getting a little update of a little video of her growing up. And it's so, so damn cute. Oh my God. I literally sit in my office and cry. When I'm filming this video, I can get her next week. Literally next week. Oh my God, it's next week. It's one week away. And yes, I'm going to do a video on this, um, introducing her and everything because I kind of need to, don't I really? Uh, the first thing that I got, I'm actually going to take you with me and show you. Why don't you come with me? Oh yes. Uh, here you are, there's my living room. <laughs> Some very horrible light in there. The first thing that we have is Great. What I've done is I've put a little blanket over and then I've just put some lights around the edge that are like out the way and you can't get to them. And then inside here, we actually have a basket. 
that was my guinea pigs, believe it or not. It's actually for a medium dog, so it's quite, it's for quite a big dog, actually. So the next thing I wanted to talk about was this thing. So this is folded a little bit just to fit in really, really nicely. But this is actually a reusable incontinence pad. Um, it's fabric, so it's really comfy, and the idea is, is that you put it in beds so that if people obviously wet themselves during the night, it's like a cover for put on top of the mattress and stuff. But it's reusable, so you can obviously put it in the wash, and then you can obviously use it again, which is amazing. So I use these for the guinea pigs um, instead of using like straw and stuff because that can get in their eyes. And this is obviously another hack because it can be an extra layer to keep Puppy nice and dry. This will be just for night time and then she can obviously join us on the bed in the morning if she wants to. <laughs> so I have this big dog basket. Uh, I actually bought this when I first moved in just to put like blankets and things in but then I figured it's got a doggy on the front so that can be like her little um, dog toy basket and I thought that would be really really cute. So it's just got all of her things in at the moment. But the first thing I'm going to show you is uh, I went into HomeSense the day that I was told I could get her and I managed to find this. I wanted to make sure that I got a bowl set that was like on a stand but small enough to kind of maybe fit in her crate, uh, go in the kitchen, things like that, but not take up too much room. And I've seen like them beautiful big stands and don't get me wrong, they're lovely. Um, but I thought this was also suitable for Poppy as well. I think you were about 12 99 Yeah, I think this was 12 99 So that, bargain, highly recommend. Home scent for bowls. <laughs> oh, I'll show you this one actually. So I got this from Pets at Home. So this is like a little game for them to play um, because sheeps are very, very, very intelligent and uh, they need a lot of stimulation um, for just be happy uh, mentally. So this is a little um, puppy toy. Uh, that you can do and basically it's got loads of little ruffles around and I just really like the pastel colours to be honest I thought it was really cute and what you can do is you can hide little dog treats inside and then they can sniff them out and basically find them and it's just a nice way of keeping them busy I think that was around about a tenner so that was I would say brilliant I'm gonna have to make sure I cover my address here but I got a little package and uh, I actually I actually got this from Etsy I always support support small companies if I can and um, if I find the right thing then I'm more than happy to invest in that and I found a really good deal I think so I thought I would show you and I also want to add so this is from Love From Paws uh, on Etsy and they actually gave me a little free bandana to put around her and I just mm, on a sheep as well it's just gonna look so cute so thank you Just For Pause for that free little bandana, I think that's adorable and I'm very excited to put that on her to be honest, I think it's going to be so cute. So that was the first thing I guess and then I actually got a full set, um, so this was on offer and I got this for around about £30. This is sort of like a four piece set um, and you get uh, a collar but you can see the brand just there which is fabulous and then it's got this really really cute donut pattern on it you get a lead which uh, I've got a other lead for obviously walks and stuff for her to go far but obviously as she's a puppy uh, after her vaccinations don't worry um, obviously when I first start taking her for walks this will be really useful for keeping her close to me um, so I've got that and to match with that a little harness he's so cute so I got this in a medium and apparently this should fit a sheep amazingly so fingers crossed on that one um, but yes yeah, so you've got a gorgeous little harness there with donuts and then the last thing in here is a little poo bag um, carrier so you've got a little zip there so you can get your poo bags out of the little thing here um, and I just I love the fact that they even supplied you with a little pack of poo bags. <laughs> I just think that was really sweet. So yeah, I think this company is absolutely adorable. Um, fully recommend them. And I would say that for the price point, this was definitely the cheapest, um, especially that they had the offer. But when I looked at things like Amazon, uh, obviously things like shops like Pets at Home and stuff like that, they were pretty up there if you wanted to get like a really cute set. And I just found the cuter sets like this were quite hard to come by. Um, I feel like you were quite limited at Pets at Home, so I feel like this was like the perfect option for me. 
so I am absolutely thrilled. I am so excited to see this all on it. Oh, and I forgot to mention this. I even bought a matching scrunchie. This is, this is the scrunchie. It's upstairs, but I might as well just show you the picture. You get the idea. But how cute going to match the dog when I'm on a walk. So another thing that I wanted to invest in um, was I actually was watching a few TikToks and YouTube videos and things like that on little puppers, uh, especially on sheeps. And I came across this amazing idea um, that when she's obviously very early ages, very young, you want them to be able to experience outside life, but you want them to be safe. Um, and then you also want this side of things where you can create more of a bond with your, with your puppy. Um, and I came across wearing a sling to put your puppy in. And I was sold. I was like, I saw the video and I was like, that is going to be me, hon. That is going to be me. I haven't even mentioned this yet, but her name's going to be Honey. Her, her name is Honey. I said Hun and I was like, oh yeah, that's her name. Uh, her name is going to be Honey, if you're wondering as well, uh, which is so, so cute and I'm really excited. This sling is quite big. Um, you could definitely get a small dog in here, like small adult dog, I would say. Uh, so if Hun stays a very, very small sheep, she could definitely fit in here at adult age. And I would literally take her around everywhere. There would be no stopping me. I would take that girl everywhere if I could. <laughs> you can have a little harness on her. And then you also have like this little clip here. So you can actually clip this onto your harness. And then you have um, another extra precaution to keep her inside nice and safe and tucked away. Um, this is actually elasticated as well, so it's really quite comfy for her. She can snuggle up in there and go to sleep. Um, there's a nice big buckle at the back, not that I need it for getting it on and off and that. Uh, the straps are nice and thick. You've got a nice pocket here if you want to put your poo bags in there. How much were you? That That's the, that's the question, isn't it? You guys might be thinking, oh yeah, I'd love a good sling for me dog, but I don't know how much it is. And Emma's not telling me. And I'd be like, you know what? Fair enough. 13 pounds and 59p. Very specific. Why? <laughs> so the next one was an interesting one. Um, I do also want to mention, I do have like a fur, a fur thing. Like this uh, defurrer, which is kind of got like a velvet. I want to say like a crushed velvet layer um, and then it, I'm gonna put a picture up here just to explain um, but it's really good for getting fur off and I actually use it with my guinea pigs and it's great so I do recommend that as well. This came free with it weirdly this was before I even contemplated having a dog I've got the donut one which looks a bit on the smaller side and then I've got this more heavy duty one um, so this has like a handle as well that I can actually so if she's in any danger I can obviously grab her and, and get her but this looks quite big to be honest um, I'm not sure if this is going to be too big so as for other essentials we have a dog coat <laughs> And I would say this was essential. I mean, sheeps, they, I see them dressed up all the time. Uh, I obviously wouldn't dress her up in like uncomfortable clothing, but I think raincoats are very, very good uh, just for keeping the rain off her. So this is actually one that I got from Matalan uh, and this cost me nine pound, which I thought was actually very good. Um, so this has actually got this really, really cute rainbow uh, droplets, like with rain clouds uh, all over. And it's got this nice kind of like waterproofy material. You've got this little flap here and then you can actually put the harness through that, uh, the lead through it. So it's really good actually. I also managed to get this. So this is a little rainbow. I mean, I couldn't resist this. Look at it. <laughs> look, just look at it. It's gorgeous. So it's got this little rope design, which I just, I imagine it in her mouth and running around with it. And it was only four pounds. So I thought this was an amazing little toy for four pounds and the idea of her running around with it in her mouth and she'll probably be too small for it at first, but I would love to see her try because that'd be so cute. And I'll probably laugh a lot. Oh, it's gonna go like it's so cute. So I got a second coat as well. This one's a little bit more bougie, um, but I actually got a Jules coat in a size small. It just, it looked like the right size to me. Like when I looked at the medium, it just seemed like a really big size. Um, so in the end I went for this one and it's got this gorgeous like fleece layer inside and then this waterproof layer on the outside. You've got your little like hole here just to put your lead through. And then it says Jules there as well. 
um, which I thought was such a cute little coat. Um, and then it's actually Velcro, but then it's got like a button detail. You've probably got deafened by that Velcro then. I'm so sorry. And this was £14, but I remember because I signed up on that day to, I think it was it, Pet Park? Um, and they were doing like a, oh, if you sign up, you get 10% off coats. I did that and I got 10% off of this one. So it was £14 with 10% off. Do the math. I went on eBay. I looked up Jules coats and I found this. <laughs> So I managed to find the female adult human version <laughs> of the Jules coat. And they're slightly different colours, which kind of triggers me, but they're pretty much the same. They're both Jules and we're going to look dead cute walking down the road together. So yeah, I know, right? I know. I've got the scrunchie. I've got the coat. I'm like ready to go. I've been able to treat myself quite a lot from this. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was actually second hand um, and I managed to get that for like 13 quid. So I pay basically paid the same for that coat. But can you, Jules, can you please make like matching, proper matching sets because I would totally be in for that. And I really like this jacket actually. Um, it's actually a really nice fit and it just looks dead good. So 10 out of 10 recommend for that one couple of little boring things so I've been recommended a shed master a D shedder because sheeps they don't really need much grooming but they do shed quite a lot and we have poo bags but make them fabulous uh, I should mention as well this was from just for pets and the poo bags and the poo bag holder <laughs> which is a little watermelon um, these were both from pets at home so they are very, very cute. I really like them. The one thing that I thought with the uh, Shedmaster was this was a hell of a lot cheaper than the Furminator. Um, and I remember thinking, you know, I might as well try this one first. If this doesn't work, I'll get the expensive one. Another thing that I got was this. So this is actually for seat belts. So you attach, all right. So you attach this to the harness and then you've obviously got the different things to plug into your seatbelt. Uh, this is for when she's an adult, obviously, while she's a puppy, she's going to be with me in my arms or in that sling. <laughs> um, I don't wanna let go of her while she's obviously very little, but uh, when she's old enough and we've perhaps got uh, a car that, you know, is suitable and she'd be happy to do it, we have got that. And we got that from uh, Just For Pets. No, Pet Park, we got this in Pet Park just to let you know. <laughs> this, this was a really good find. So I got these from uh, B&M and these are like little rope toys. Um, so they're only three quid, which I thought was really, really good. Um, and it's just a few little rope toys for puppies to just chew and eat-ish. Just throw around really, have a bit of fun with it. And I managed to find these in the Petsatone clearance uh, section and they're actually that really good brand what brand even is it i have no idea um z dog a lead and harness set and i couldn't resist this i'm a sucker uh, but it was actually tetris themed and i just thought that was so so cool i mean i've got to say this brand seems such good quality it's got like this thing on the end of the lead for like something <laughs> Uh, this was originally £20 and then it was reduced to go for £10. So do look in the pet. <laughs> the harness was originally £18 down to £9. So both of these I got half price. So I thought that was really good. And obviously, with it being a small, it's going to suit her while she's like, you're like kind of older puppy to young teenage years. Is that the right term? Um, so I'm hoping that will fit her for like a substantial amount of time. And considering it's adjustable and stuff, I was recommended to get one of them because you can obviously adjust it to their body as they're growing and stuff like that. So I thought that was mwah, perfect. The next thing is a retractable lead. Of course it is in pink because cute. And it's this flexi retractable lead. I got it from Pets at Home and 
I think if I remember off the top of my head, it was like 18 quid or 20 quid. Um, but actually, this was the cheapest one because um, I went around like Pet Park and Just for Pets, and this turned out to be actually the cheapest out of the actual shops. Um, obviously, if you go in somewhere like B and M or something like that, you might get um, a cheaper one that's a good option. But I just found for me that this one looked really good quality. It looks like it's going to be, you know heavy duty I guess and it's got a really cute pink dog on the back in like a really artistic pattern and I want that on my wall really really bad because it's so cool actually um so <laughs> so I ended up getting this one because uh, I wanted something that was very good quality when it comes to a lead um because I want to make sure she's safe so I got that one but I got this I was highly recommended uh getting one of these and it's like a natural teething rubber um and what you can do is you can put treats inside it um, and I would recommend getting the medium size just so that she would grow into using that. And obviously when she's small, she can use like this smaller end as well. Um, and apparently this is a really good toy to be able to like let them play around with and it will keep them entertained for a while. Um, so apparently this is really, really good for that and keeping them good. So I bought one of them. You'll probably see them in every single pet store. So this is a little guinea pig. I did not buy it for the dog. I already have this because I couldn't resist it. Hello! Hello! <laughs> <laughs> this, this thing is honestly, I bought this off Wish um, and it was one of the best things that I ever bought. It was, it's just, <laughs> the amount I have laughed with this. And it's like, it's like, it just doesn't stop as well. Like I have to turn it off in order to stop laughing because <laughs> I'm a child. I have seen a few videos of doggos reacting to them barking and then obviously the bark comes through high pitched. So I want to see my little pupper play with that, to be honest. <laughs> the next thing I bought was one of these. Uh, I thought this was going to be hilarious. So this is like a little stick and then you can obviously put like a little cuddly toy like that and you can kind of Oh, it's got squeakers too. Oh, that's exciting. So I thought that was very cute. I got that from Pen Park. So in case you want one. And then I got this from Pets at Home. So this is actually an invincible, durable seams and tough lining. Uh, has no like filling in it as well. So it's really safe. Uh, no stuffing, no mess. Um, keep squeaking if punctured. I mean, I'll let you know, but... That is such a satisfying squeak, isn't it? Because some of them are really annoying because you kind of... Let's have a look at this one again because you've got like this one. That, 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 that would get on my nerves after a bit. That's never going to get on my nerves. <laughs> and then I got this one from Pets to Home as well. And uh, it's just got a little squeaker in and it's just a little donut. You can get loads of different colours and stuff. They even have one in the poppy section in case anybody um, wants to find that one. And that was like pastel colours as well. These were only like two quid. So, I mean, I couldn't resist that. So I found these from HomeSense. So HomeSense had loads of like really cute things, but the odd thing like really stuck out to me and it was these. So we have a little fluffy bunny and that's a very satisfying squeak. And then we've got a strawberry milk bottle. <laughs> um, the bunny was three ninety nine. Uh, it's got like a spiky ball inside of it as well, so that's good for it to just munch on. And then the strawberry um, juice. Well, it says juice bottle, but it's a strawberry milk bottle, and that was four ninety nine. So they were very cheap very very much i nearly smacked myself in the face of that times i got her the just puppy milk flavored chew toy um just so she's got a little something to munch on uh helps her teething helps to satisfy the urge to chew i got that from pets at home as well in the puppy section just in case you are wanting to get one too and then i got this this is from uh this is actually rosewood which is a very very popular um like famous brand for general toys and especially for guinea pig stuff i like point at my guinea pigs i know you wouldn't know that's what i'm pointing to uh but yeah they they sell like really good stuff for guinea pigs and then they also have apparently some really good stuff for dogs too cute as this little pink toy 
toy. It's so sweet. So it helps keep teeth clean. It's non-toxic rubber. Uh, and it's just like a dental bone basically, but safer. So I could resist that in pink, obviously. Um, I have a little Yoshi uh, toy, which I thought would be really cute to have on display on top of her crate. And then if she really loves it, I'll give it her. This one is definitely going on display, not being chewed. The little sheep. Um, I've actually had this inside the crate just to tease me a bit. <laughs> Does anybody else do that? Probably not. I have a couple of other things coming. So I've got this little set from Amazon, um, especially for puppies, for chewing and things like that. Hello everyone, Editing M over here. Um, just wanted to slot in a cheeky clip um, just to talk about the toys that I have just talked about in the last clip. Um, don't buy them. Um, this happened. Uh, so yeah, ignore ignore the hair um, for a start. Uh, you'll see in the next video that this is this is the look now. What happened is Poppy absolutely loved them, and she chewed them quite a bit. And then there was one in particular that she liked, but she kept getting bits in her mouth that I had to sort of fish out, and uh, it, they were just really not indestructible, shall we say? They were not what they said on the tin. So they they have gone. I have returned them to Amazon. Big no-no, do not buy. I just wanted to slot that in there because I didn't want anybody else getting ripped off with that because that was not good, so. Okay, back to the video. Also, Poppy is doing great. Also, can we just address that my hair is literally the same color as the fireplace? Like, how did I not see that before? I would not have filmed there. Put it this way, the next video is not filmed there, <laughs> probably. Probably wise. <laughs> and then I've got her actual collar that's coming in the post and it's like a double collar, which is really cute. Um, and it's actually got a little bandana on one of them and then a little bow on the other one. Um, they are especially for small dogs or puppies or even cats. So I'm hoping that they'll be like more than good enough for obviously what I want it for. And then you're probably wondering about a little dog tag. So I got this uh, off of Etsy and I mean, small companies just do it right, don't they? They do an amazing job. So thank you for your purchase. Uh, make it personal, make it personal engraving. Let me tell you, they have done an incredible job. It looks so, so, so cute. I'm sorry if you can hear the washing machine. Got little flowers around it and then the little bee above it for honey. It's so cute! So that's actually everything from the haul that I have. Um, I do hope that if you are getting a puppy yourself and you are coming for advice that everything goes well. Congratulations, um, more so. And then if you're just here because you're wanting something in the background, I hope you enjoyed my background voice. <laughs> but yeah, thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye!